Hi everyone, it's Rachel here from the Southern Mint and I'm bringing you a new video finally after months and months of nothing. So I wanted to start a new series called Style Tip Tuesday where each Tuesday I bring you a quick and easy style tip. So I want it to be something that you can implement that week, that day, anytime, and nothing hard or complicated. So I'm sorry if you hear dogs barking in the background. I'm actually at my parents' house and they have little schnauzers. And whenever my parents leave, the schnauzers kind of go ape crazy. So I apologize for that. Hopefully you can still hear me and there's no problems there. So let's get started. So let's talk about necklines. So the first thing that I want to show you is kind of a standard V-neck. It's in this bright yellow color. Now if you'll notice, you've got buttons going down the whole length of the shirt. Okay, but here at the top, you don't. So you have no choice but to have this lovely v-neck. You cannot put it together. Um, you just have to stick with the v-neck. So basically what you want to do is you have two options. You can wear, some people like really delicate necklaces, which is totally fine. That's typically not something I wear. But if you do, then that would look great, great with this necklace or with this neckline. So just wear a de delicate necklace something small and simple that would come like right in between this V, okay? Or what you're gonna wanna do is to wear something a lot longer. Now this is a big necklace. You don't have to wear anything that's big if you don't like big jewelry by any means, but I do. <laughs> so as you can see, this is a lot longer than um, the neckline. So see, it's gonna come, here's the end of the neckline. It's gonna come down here. So it's not gonna compete with the neckline at all. You're not going to spend all day moving it around and trying to deal with it. It's just going to hang down low and you're going to be able to see the shirt and the necklace and everything's going to work out beautifully. All right, so for the next one, this one's kind of a, a great one actually because it's really easy to style. It's just a simple neckline that comes up pretty high, right? So it comes up pretty high right here and it's in a bright color. So it's kind of a blank palette, really. You can do just about anything that you want. So you can wear a long necklace with this if you want. Um, but what I like to wear in this type of situation is more of a statement necklace. Because you have such a blank palette, you can really wear a wow necklace that's, that's big or, or small or does whatever. But I love these statement necklaces. So this is one that I would wear with it. It's in a neutral color. And I like that because it stands out against the teal but it doesn't compete with the turquoise color at all. It just complements it. So, um, like I said, you can wear it up if you want, a little bit higher. You can wear it down a lot lower. Um, or again, you can wear a long necklace that hangs down. That's totally fine too. With that neckline, you're really open to whatever you want to do, which is really cool. Those are the best to do. The only thing you don't want to do is you don't want to wear something really high or really short that's going to sit right where that neckline is because then again, you're going to you're gonna have this competition happening where your necklace might go under your neckline, it might go over, your, your neckline might move around, like, and then you're gonna fool with it all day. Or it's gonna look crazy all day and nobody's gonna tell you it looks crazy. And then you're gonna get home, you're gonna look in the mirror and be like, oh my gosh, I look weird, why did no one tell me? So you kinda of wanna avoid that, that's the whole point of this, right? So the third one that I have for you is a little bit lower the neckline. So this is just a typical sort of half circle, right? So it kind of comes down a lot lower. It's another bright color, which I love bright colors. And this one's a little different because it has sort of a chain, a gold chain already around the neckline. So you have a couple options here. You can wear a necklace that's shorter than the neckline, right? So it's gonna come right about here. You can forego a necklace completely and just wear like gold earrings and some gold bracelets. That would look great because you already have kind of a, a neckline thing going. Or you can be like me and go completely over the top, add more color in, <laughs> and add a big necklace with a long neckline that's gonna come down past this part. It's gonna hang down lower into the shirt. So not only do you have no competition with the neckline, but you have a necklace that's gonna stand out against this bright color shirt. Even though it's also a bright color, it's complimentary, and therefore it works, right? All right, so the last neckline is a little bit um, 
of a different one, I guess. You don't see this as much, I suppose. But it's kind of a draping neckline. So see how it sort of sits like this? It's loose fabric, and it just sort of drapes like that. So it doesn't, it's not you know, stiff or anything. It's just, you know, just going to sit there and drape and kind of do it at once all day. So, again, what you want to do is you don't want to compete with this. If you try to have something that's going to hang right here, you're going to be dealing with this all day. Your neck will, I mean, it's going to drive you crazy. Trust me, I've done it. That's why I'm telling you don't do it. So in this situation, I typically do one of two things. I either wear a shorter necklace. I've gotten these all tangled. I either wear a shorter necklace, right? So something like this. That's going to come up above the neckline. See how it comes up above like that? It's kind of hard to tell. This necklace you can shorten and stuff, so it actually does come above it when you shorten it and everything. So therefore, it's not competing, and it looks real pretty. This gold, um, dress has some gold flakes in it, so the gold looks really well, really good with it. Or you can wear a long necklace. Again, it's going to go past where the neckline is, going to hang down nice and low, so you don't have any issues there. It's not going to bother you at all. So basically, the very basic thing that if I can leave you with anything is you just don't want your necklace and your neckline to compete. You want to either go above the neckline or you want to go below the neckline. You don't want to go where it's at because it's just going to drive you crazy. And it has potential to look funny and it just doesn't work. So just try to avoid it. So if you have, if you're ever unsure about what necklace to wear, just remember, either go above the neckline or below, and you can't go wrong. Now this neckline is really high, right? So it's like right up against my neck. So the best thing I would say in this situation is to get a cool necklace that kind of hangs like right here. You've seen those like this, again, a statement necklace that kind of hangs right here. And if this were buttoned up, that would look cool. Or you can wear it, again, this one's buttoned up, you can wear it right here. I just don't have a necklace on because um, I think that it might compete a little much because there's a lot of silver going on, but also I don't, I don't have a silver necklace really to go with it. Um, I would probably wear silver earrings with this, but again, I don't, I don't have any of those either. I never wear silver like ever, so um, this shirt is kind of a rare one that I wear. So anyway, that's my tip for today. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe below. Um, I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday, and I'm put. Uh, my links to my social media below, so if you want to follow me, please do, and I'll put a link to my blog as well. So I hope you all have a fabulous and very stylish day, and I look forward to talking with you again soon. Thank you.